there's psychology, biology, geology, and then there's grossology. That's right, the science of all things gross. The science behind things like barfing, belching, oozing, scabs, farts, you know, all the things that kids find fascinating. And later this month, the Discovery Center in Halifax will be exploring the bodily functions that we like to hide with their new exhibit, Grossology. Jeff McCarran is the manager of exhibits at the Discovery Center, and he joins me now in studio. Hello, sir. Hi. Uh, this isn't a Halifax Discovery Center original. Where does, where does Grossology come from? Uh, this is a three-way partnership between Advanced Animations in Vermont, uh, Science World in Vancouver, British Columbia, and the author of the book uh, by the same name, uh, Sylvia Branzi. And how did it get on your radar? Um, this came to us uh, through a couple of databases that we used to just kind of scour the North American market for interesting and, and engaging interactive exhibits. And uh, this one we thought was a, a perfect fit for us. Uh, why? Why a perfect fit for the Discovery Center in Halifax? Well, there's, um, there's no secret that kids like to ask <laughs> impolite questions sometimes that, um, that adults are not necessarily comfortable uh, having the answers to or perhaps they don't know the answers themselves. Um, so this is a really engaging, um, really visually stunning exhibit that uh, is going to entertain and uh, hopefully put some of those questions to answer. It's a pretty big exhibit? Like it's going to take that whole bottom floor there at the it Discovery Center? It is. It's Center? about uh, 2,500 square feet, so the oh. whole floor. Wow, it is yeah. huge. Uh, I had a few gross words in the introduction. Mm -hmm. I don't get to say those words on radio very <laughs> often. I'll give you a chance to say some of those words. What are some examples of the gross exhibits on display? Well, you're going to meet a couple of characters, uh, including uh, one of my favorites, named Nigel Knows It All. I can tell you all about snot and why you need snot and where it comes from, what it's made of, uh, and why it's important to your body. Um, we've got all kinds of, of other activities in here, including something called the Vomit Center, which we're quite excited about. <laughs> yeah, that, that <laughs> excites me too, yes. Yeah. <laughs> What's the Vomit Center? Uh, the Vomit Center is all about um, the process that, that your body goes through in order to vomit. And again, why it's important, uh, why we need to vomit, and, and um, some of the reasons why it happens. And um, it, this, this is an exhibit that... It shows you this, or are you, are, are you spending a lot of time reading placards? No, we like to minimize, minimize text. We find uh, that people are more engaged, and they, um, they come away with a better learning experience if they're, they're engaged, they're having fun. It's an interactive, um, so it's hands-on, um, not a whole lot of reading. Definitely some uh, scientific backup there, if, uh, if you prefer. But uh, this is very much uh, hands-on, minds-on activity. I, I'm, I'm interested in the, uh, the different gross words again. I know the science of burping. Mm -hmm. is one of them. How, how does this grossology exhibit show the science of burping, for example? Well, um, you can step up to a character who's uh, drinking out of a gigantic soda bottle, um, and you can pump some soda into his stomach until uh, he gets the right amount of gas inside him, and then he automatically lets out his belch, just like you would. And how do you learn from that, Well, you learn other than the fact that soda makes you belch? Well, you learn by doing. You, you're, you're seeing it happen. You're seeing the soda go inside his stomach, and you're seeing the gas levels rise. Uh, you're watching the meter, and then when it gets to the perfect perfect time, then we all know what happens. Boom. Uh, is there a chance that this is too gross for some people? I don't think so. It's, it's presented for children. It's in a, in a very uh, fun way. Um, you know, non-confrontational. It is in your face. It is impolite. Um, and it is gross. But uh, we think that's the best part. Yeah. Well, on the website, I did a little research into this. Grossology bills itself as edutainment. What do you see? I, you've touched on it a little bit, the education part of this display. But is the education part even noticeable when you're in a room full of eight-year-old boys giggling about a booger? Well, not for kids, and we, and we like that about it. Um, for adults, it's a, it's a really good way to, to kind of get these concepts communicated to your, to your kids. Um, but for the kids, we don't like it when they know that they're learning. They do, <laughs> they do enough of that th through the day. So um, they're going to come and they're going to have some fun, but they're definitely going to learn. It's, it's science in disguise. Uh, when does it get set up and how long does it stay? It gets set up um, in the next couple of weeks. It'll be open on the 20th of, um, sorry, the 21st of January, and it goes through until May. So it's here for quite a while. That's excellent. Jeff, thanks a lot for coming and telling us about this and allowing me to say booger on the radio. You're quite welcome. <laughs> We'd like to thank our sponsor, Farmer Choice, as well. Excellent. Uh, thanks, Jeff. That's Jeff McCarran. He's the manager of exhibits at the Discovery Center in Halifax. As he mentioned, Grossology opening at the Discovery Center the weekend of January 21st.